All right, guys, so I thought I'd try something a little different, uh, just trying to get this video out. I know there's gonna be a lot of background noise. I'm driving uh, driving home. You know, at the end of each video, that, that kind of fade out section is that beach part, uh, and that's what I drive home every day, and so it's, it's extremely uh, nice to look at. Uh, the sun's kind of setting in front of us, so a little bit bright. But anyways, nevertheless, a lot of echo, and I apologize for that, but this is gonna be the last video for the phenylalanine uh, series, per se. Um, very important pathway. It's something that you got to have mastered and, and these are the last uh, question or two and so I just want to re reinforce the reason I'm kind of beating a dead horse on this is because when you're studying for step one you got to ask yourself always you know how else can they ask this question you know they can ask it this way that way up you know so I want you to walk into step one saying I don't care how they ask it I've seen every scenario there is uh, and it, it just leads to a a, the confidence which is the key to this step exam so I know it sounds like I'm just doing more and more questions on the same topic but it's but it's for a purpose um, and ultimately again our purpose is to pass step one so hope you liked the video and we'll see you in the next one all right guys it says which of the following enzymes is most likely attributable to the patient's findings a two-year-old male with intellectual delay who was adopted from Eastern European country, passes from an unknown illness. Upon further review of the patient's autopsy, the child was noted to have a pale appearance of the substantia nigra, which of the following enzymes is most likely attributable to the patient's findings. So, <clears throat> if I didn't even know what was going on there, even though, you know, two-year-old, intellectual delay, European country, you know, it gets us thinking um, in that, that PKU kind of esque uh, stuff and there's some other other ones too, but when you look at the the answer choices, you know that they're asking at least or testing your knowledge of of that pathway. Uh, phenylalanine makes tyrosine, which makes L-dopa, which makes dopamine, which makes norepinephrine, which makes epinephrine. And again, phenylalanine to tyrosine, phenylalanine hydroxylase, tyrosine to L-dopa tyrosine hydroxylase. L-dopa to dopa, dopamine decarboxylase, dopamine to norepinephrine, uh, that's gonna be our dopamine beta hydroxylase, norepinephrine uh, to epinephrine, that's our phenyl ethanolamine and methyltransferase, blah, 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 uh, with SAM. All right, so we know those, right? We've been doing over and over and over. Now, <clears throat> the question of this thing is, so it, this thing's kinda, it just got all, has all the makings of, of of PKU, but they say the child's autopsy has a pale appearance, or they say pallor, right, a lot of times, of the substantia nigra. Now, what's in the substantia nigra? How do I know which one the this is, right? Because pretty much all these guys are in here, right? And then homogenistic acid is just that right turn thing with al alcoptonuria. So we have to say, you know, the Substantia nigra, what do we find in there? We find dopamine, all right? Dopamine, that's what we're gonna see in the substantia nigra, but it's paler, so there's not much dopamine. Dopamine is decreased, okay? Dopamine is decreased. So then you just have to go back up, you know, kind of like up the pathway and say, okay, is there any enzyme that they're talking about here that would be decreased, which would make a decrease in the dopamine, okay, of how, we, of how we make this. Now, which would explain these symptoms? Well, we could say phenylalanine hydroxylase, right? This guy, because that would knock him out, which would give me my diagnosis of PKU, and would I have a decrease in dopamine as a result? Yeah, because if this guy's knocked out, and there wasn't any proper treatment, or per se, you know, dietary supplementation or restriction, uh, I would have a decrease in this guy over time. So right out of the gate, this guy looks pretty good. Phenylalanine decarboxylase, again, made that up. Phenylethanolamine and transferase, you know, that's the guy right here. Heck, that's after dopamine. So if anything, if this guy was decreased, substantia nigra should look okay because I'm making dopamine. Um, <clears throat> there's dopamine in, in the system. Dopamine beta hydroxylase, well, that's this guy, right? That's the one after that step. So dopamine still should be good, even if that guy was kind of uh, not, uh, not so good. And then this guy is just alcoptonuria at a right turn. So the only answer to where we could have this guy being decreased and explain these symptoms is going to be the true PKU phenylalanine hydroxylase. Okay? It's just the same stuff. It's just asked a different way. 
you know, they're saying they're testing your knowledge of substantia nigra associated with dopamine. Um, maybe you could have got it with just this, um, but this really kind of, uh, you know, really kind of lasers it in uh, with that answer choice. So the correct answer is going to be answer choice A. This one says, which of the, uh, based on the information, which of the following neurotransmitters may be affected? A four-month-old child is noted uh, to have some neurological abnormalities. Parents do genetic testing, which reveals cofactor abnormalities of the biopterin synth synthesis, okay? DH4, <clears throat> tetrahydrobiopterin um, is this one. Based on the information, which of the following neurotransmitters may be affected? So if this guy is not so good, now, Yes, we could go phenylalanine, makes tyrosine, L-dopa, dopa, 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 and we know that biopterin is going to be right there, right, on the first two. Where else do we know that biopterin plays a part out of these? Okay? I think there's, there might, may have been a question on uh, NBME that asked this in a much more simplistic way, but what's my answer? All right, tryptophan needs as a cofactor biopterin to make serotonin. Answer choice D. All right, glutamate, more of an excitatory, uh, you know, I'm going to say neurotransmitters get caught on what I call these things. GABA is inhibitory. Um, iron, you know, we talk about that a whole, you know, in, all in itself. <clears throat> and then magnesium, um, you know, kind of the center of the chlorophyll molecule. Uh, and such, but the, the only answer when you see biopterin, if, you, if it's not dealing with this phenylalanine and PKU deal, and remember, true PKU or the PKU where you have to have the, um, even the supplementation doesn't really help everything. If you, don't, if you don't use biopterin for that, you better be familiar with biopterin making serotonin from this step. Okay? All right, guys, hope it was helpful.